This is code.org, and we're going to investigate and modify. Run the program. Don't have to tell me more than once. Boom. Okay, what's it doing? Run the program to observe the results. Then experiment with the program by making the following modifications. Change one line at a time to run the program after each change. Alrighty. So let's see. We have first event, prom. Second event is equal to the first event. Third event is equal to prom. Interesting. Print the result. If the first event is equal to the second event, that's true. Ah, I bet I know what they're going to do. All right. In line... So, and of course these are equal, we assign second event exactly, but is third event going to be equal? Hmm. Change line 8 to the boolean first event and third event. Line 8, now third event. So what just happened? The reason this happens, guys, is these aren't the same. This is creating a new object. This, when we do it like that, it doesn't copy the object, it's pointing at it, okay? So this event is first event. Let me show you what I mean. Bam. So Real quick, guys, I just threw in a, a set statement just to show you. We don't have to do this, but I wanted to show you what happens if I change just the capacity of the first event and then I print out the second event's capacity. Notice it's changed, and that's because this item is pointing at this item. It's not another copy of it. It is the same thing. It's like giving it a new name. And so that's what's occurring when we check for equality is that those two objects are equal because they're identical. In council dot change line eight to second event, third event, and these also won't be equal because this is equal to first. And now, finally, we're going to change second event to null, and then we're going to do a not equals, which is the negation operator. Lowercase, of course. Yep, and that's false, because we just said second event to null. Cool! I'm excited to see what we're going to be doing with these objects. Onward!